Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. Yes, I still have that strap sitting up there. I'm gonna go the entire, like, until I can be back down in my own film, filming space, my regular filming space, with that strap. Because I can't be bothered to remember to put it somewhere else. Anyway, you guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelly. If you are new here and you don't already know that, or didn't know what you were clicking on, Tsunami is not my last name, it is just a lifestyle. Including my current broken ankle that I'm healing on. I've got a couple days uh, from when I'm filming this that I'll be going into the surgeon and he'll tell me kind of how I'm progressing. And hopefully that means that there'll be a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> and that I'm working towards weight bearing. I know that bones, they just take their time. They just take a few months. A few months to heal and re-knit and then you gotta retrain yourself. My calf on one side is like half the size of the regular one and my healthy one and that's horrifying <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But I'm, I'm doing the best I can and uh, I'm here. I'm here. I picked up some like random stuff from Ulta and I'm kind of in a mood to just try some new products. A couple of them have gone viral. Some of them are recommended by very famous YouTubers. Some of them, like this one from e.l.f., this Power Grip. I had one of these and I decluttered it because I used it one time and I'm like, I don't know if I like this or not. What I'm trying to do, and a lot of these are, I'm trying to try more travel sizes before committing the purchase of the whole one because frankly, I don't get any of the stuff in PR, right? I'm buying it with my own money. These gripping kind of primers, just haven't really been my thing. I don't know. I did some skincare today. I did straighten my hair yesterday, so I'm on, on my second day of, of hair. And I don't usually do straight, straight hair. And I forgot that last time I got my hair cut, they had it thinned quite a bit. So my hair is looking a little flat Stanley now, which, you know, was a look for a while. Anyway, we're supposed to go to a uh, arena basketball game today. We have like three arena teams in town. The basketball team is brand new. We have a, a football team. We have a hockey team. Obviously we've had a hockey team for a while and uh, we just recently got a basketball team. So we're going to go see their game. I think it's their second game. It's kind of exciting. Okay. I also picked up one of these uh, It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This has an SPF 50. I am filming with natural light today but it's supposed to snow. <laughs> so it's very white light and I'm in a dark room. Like that's supposed to help at all. Anyway, I picked up one of these CC creams. In the past, I've really liked the it Cosmetic CC creams, but I haven't used one in a while. So this is uh, one of the little travel sizes. I picked up mine in shade medium. I suspect this might be too light or too dark. We might have to fix it a little bit. I probably shouldn't have gone medium. I don't know why I picked medium. Maybe they didn't have a light. I don't know, I'm kind of a light medium. So I'm gonna actually apply a little tiny bit of this with my uh, sponge, but okay. A little, little bit dark, but hmm. At first I was, I got very excited. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty dark, but you know what? Using a damp sponge, I should be able to shear this out. I've been so obsessed with that uh, Lancome Tinte Doll that I haven't wanted to reach for any other foundation for a couple months now. All right, did one half of my face with that CC cream. Yeah, I mean, I think because I had to shear it out because of the color match, I'm seeing a lot of, you know, my natural skin and texture coming through. And that's not, not a bad thing. I like the fact, oh, that was too much. I like the fact that it's an SPF 50 though. And with this shade, I'm gonna be able to head into spring and possibly even summer. I love the fact that I got a travel size of this, or, you know, I think it's a travel size, not a deluxe sample. And I'm excited about it because I'm so tired of buying full size products and then not going through them and then having to throw them away because I've moved on to something else or it just doesn't last forever. Although I saw somebody use a palette recently that was seven years old and I went, that's, that's brave. I'm gonna take this down my neck just so that it matches a little bit better too. Sometimes it's good to just see what's out there. I used to make my list, I would, see somebody's video and take screenshots of you know the products they recommended and the products they used and then use that as my shopping list when i you know, try to find it so anyway that is the it cosmetic cc cream in shade medium and it's i'm, I'm okay with this we'll be, we'll be all right with this 
I will try to link or not link, but well, yeah, I'll try to link the a website or something, some sort of link for these products down below. Just keep in mind, I am not affiliated with any of these companies, so I don't have any kind of code or anything that's going to save you any money. I picked up two of these purported dupes for the Charlotte Tilbury ones that she has. Not the matte ones, but the, the original sparkly ones. This one, and they're, these are both from Flower Beauty, so I picked up Low Light and Spotlight. Uh, Low Light says it's a li liquid contour corrector liquid. I'm guessing the bottom part is in French. Uh, and then the spotlight one says it is a liquid highlighter, illuminator liquid. So I picked up two different shades of these. Let's see if we can't load these up a little bit here. Do we have to twist them to start them? Oh yeah. All right. Let's try loading that up a little bit. All right. It's coming. Oh, I, do, I didn't even have it up in the, in the viewfinder. I'm sorry, you guys. All right. So let's just do what I would normally do with the Charlotte Tilbury and see how that is. I'm just gonna flip my sponge over and use the fat part to kind of blend this in. And let's see. For a contour, it's awfully warm. So maybe depending on your skin undertone, that might make a difference for you. It almost feels like a little bit of a liquid bronzer, but pretty subtle. Actually, you know what? I really like that. Yeah, okay, you know, it's it's, it's not super, super pigmented, but it's going on beautifully. And I can really see the, the shadow, you know, that I'm trying to create on the, uh, on my face. The, you know, you want your face to have a little bit more structure, right? My face has been a little high like lately. I think it's, uh, I've been really probably drinking too much in all honesty. I don't know. I, I think I'm just kind of sad from being home and not being able to go out somewhere. So note to self, stop, stop. You just don't need to do that. Okay. So I'm going to take the highlighter and I'm not normally a highlighter person. The one thing I like about the Charlotte Tilbury one is that it's a little bit more of a blush and this is not a blush. This is more like a I mean, it's a it's a highlighter. Sorry, my phone was making, or my, not my phone, but my computer was making noise here. Okay, so it is a highlighter and it's looking pretty darn pretty on the skin. But I think that's about all I'm gonna do with it. Just cause I, I'm not really a highlighter kind of person. This is bold doing this left-handed. You know, my local Ulta doesn't sell Flower Beauty anymore. I think Fred Meyer might, but I, I, I haven't, I haven't been to Fred Meyer in a long time. All right, moving on. I picked up one of these Tarte Maracuja lip liners. I picked up mine in shade Rosy Brown, which sounds like my perfect neutral everyday lip shade. I've been really loving the Maracuja lip oils or whatever they are. They're like a glossy stick. I've been really enjoying those. I don't know what makes this unique and different. Oh, does it have a... Okay, it's got a sharpener on the end, so that makes me happy because the tip... Oh yeah, it does screw up. Yay, that makes me happy. I, I prefer a, a mechanical pencil as opposed to trying to sharpen plastic sometimes. So I don't know what makes this a different liner than anything else, but everybody's been raving about it. All right, it's gliding on well. There's no tug, it's not dry. I like the color, the shade's fine. Yeah, like I don't have any complaints about this. I think this is a little bit pricier though. So I, is it worth that money? I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna do a little contouring on my lips. Every time I do this technique where I contour the outer corners of my lips, my, my husband's always like, your lips look great. <laughs> it's like a weird thing. Like, thanks. Again, me not being super romantic. Okay, yeah, I like that lip liner. Would I go out and buy a bunch more of them? Mm, I don't know. All right, this is the lip product I got. This was one that I saw on Toddy's channel and she was like, oh, this is the best one of all time. This is from NARS and it's called Chelsea Girls. I think it's an old one, but I, I didn't have it. So pretty packaging. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Scott Barnes, his lip product package. And oh yeah, comfortable, pretty. Yeah, I did the right thing doing that lip liner trick too because it's just sheer enough, but that's a nice glossy, glossy lip. I need a blush product. I have several of these Merit blushes here. I am, I, I'm a, uh, I have a Muse link for, for Merit. I've got Apre, which I think is a little bit more burgundy, which might be pretty. And then this one is Fox and it's a little warmer. I think I'm gonna use this one. 
yeah, that was the right, the right shade here. All right. Sometimes I like to just apply it directly on the skin, as I just did. But let me grab my Merit brush here. That looks like it needs to be cleaned. Apparently, I do a pretty good job of cleaning my brushes after every video that I do, or every day of filming. All right, that's going on very pretty over the the other liquid products, that liquid highlighter and the liquid contour. And I, it's not feeling too heavily made up. I think once I powder it, it's gonna be spot on. Yeah, I like that better than just leaving it with just the contour and the highlighter. I didn't see if Flower Beauty, maybe they had a different shade and it had been sold out. Maybe that's the reason why I got that, that other highlighter. Because it was a little gold. I think it's gonna be beautiful in the summer, especially when I've got a little skin, skin tone, a little color on my skin. Okay, I picked up a couple different eyeshadow products. I picked up two of these Ulta singles. I don't know why. I've been in such a like minimalist eyeshadow when I'm working from home. But I also picked up this CoverGirl, CoverGirl Clean Color palette. This one is, does it say? Cool Berry. I don't know. I, a lot of people have been trying this. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try it too. Because that's what happens. But I kind of want to use these singles from Ulta. I don't do a lot of a lot of singles, but for whatever reason, I was like, oh, that looks like a good idea. Talk about minimal makeup. And so I picked up a matte one in Desire. And then this other one that looks like it's smashed. This is in Pin Up Girl. I'm guessing this is probably a shimmer, but it looks like... You know how Ulta doesn't do a very good job when they ship products to you? They didn't do a very good job with this one either. Yeah, I think this is... Yeah, it's completely destroyed. I think I'm gonna have to take this back. We'll, we'll take this back to, to Ulta. Maybe even today, if we leave the house early enough. All right, well, the good thing is, is I have that other eyeshadow palette, so we're gonna we're gonna go into that. I am gonna try their, their matte eyeshadow, though, because uh, I haven't tried... Well, I tried one, an eyeshadow palette from them, and then I tried some of their bounce shadows, but this one looks like it might be a really pretty, kind of like all over the lid, minimal, no makeup makeup. Do we do that? Do we do, do we, are we pretending that we're doing no makeup? Anyway, I thought this would be a good, like either work shade, glasses. I love it when people say, why do you have to tone down what you wear? Part of me is, is because I'm, I'm a little bit old school, a little bit more traditional. I work in a, a corporate environment that the parent company tends to be, or at least the client parent company, tends to be very, very serious and very traditional. One of the things that I learned early on in my career is people's first impression of you. It's really hard to get past that. You can, <laughs> you can get past it, but it takes extra work. So why would you make things harder on yourself? And when I am meeting with clients, it's really to instill confidence. I want them to see that I'm capable, competent, in control. And if they see super artistic eyeshadow, they might, might get the impression that I'm either not taking it seriously or I'm too creative and too carefree when it comes to the, the fiscal responsibility of the business. So that's the reason why. I know some of you guys comment about, you know, what, just wear what you want. I, I, I do, but when I'm meeting face to face with clients, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm wearing what's appropriate. And people say that too, you know, you go to certain states and they're like, oh, well, this is Montana, wear jeans. I'm never going to go into a meeting wearing jeans. Never. And a lot of it is because the first time I meet with these guys, or if I haven't been there in a while because the rotation of my territory is really big, it's almost like I'm re-interviewing. I had to resell myself every single time in a non-prostitutional type of way. All right, you guys, I'm trying to get this palette open here. I'm glad I picked up this other one knowing that that first one was so destroyed. I mean, I didn't know it was destroyed until I tried to open them. I'm gonna chip my fingernails. Okay, got it open. All right, that's actually pretty. The This shade right here look, doesn't look very similar to what I have on my eyes right now. I feel like I just put that on. In fact, let's just put a little bit more of it on. Let's see if it, this shows up any different than the shade that I just put on. Maybe just a, a, a hint darker. Maybe just a little tiny bit. I have a feeling I'm gonna like my makeup and not wanna take it off to film something else. I might just have to come back and film something else tomorrow <sighs> to make good use of my time. Yeah, I mean, it's a cool tone rose color. Let's take this darker shade right here. I'm gonna flip over and go into the smaller brush. And I just kind of loaded that up a little bit. So this is the CoverGirl Clean Color Eyeshadow Palette. I have not bought a CoverGirl Eyeshadow Palette in 
I don't remember how long. All right, that's pretty. Completely appropriate for, for the daytime game that we're going to. I don't mind that at all. Did I get it high enough? Let me pull it a little bit. This, this natural light is throwing me off here, you guys. I apologize. Yeah, that's right. It's a little more subdued. It's not as, you know, like a festive game day kind of eye look. I might have to get a little exotic with some eyeliner. So I'm just applying that darker shade and then just kind of flipping this brush over. This is one of the Natasha Denona travel brushes, just in case you're wondering what I was using. Sometimes you guys like that kind of information. Hey, welcome to new subscribers. I appreciate it. I am trying to get to my, my thousand so that all my efforts here, giving you guys regular content, uh, could be awarded by some AdSense perhaps. If you see com or commercials or ads on my videos, I don't get anything for that. <laughs> that is That is just YouTube taking advantage of the fact that I have a channel with consistent consistent <laughs> videos so as soon as I get to I, I, I'll when I get back to when I get to 900 I'm gonna start looking back into it again the last time I looked was when I first started my channel and it was at the time you had to have a thousand subscribers to even be considered for anything and I like the idea that I don't have to rely on you guys to do any kind of links I try not to do that um, with the exception of merit um, but I try not to do anything that's going to require you guys to have to pay. I don't have a Patreon account. I don't do a, a members only subscription. If you subscribe to the channel, it's free. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And uh, I don't necessarily get paid for that. However, dot, dot, dot. As soon as I get to a thousand, hopefully that means I can start getting some compensation for all of my work and all the money that I put into this. I buy all the stuff. Nothing comes to me in, in PR. Very few, very few things. Merit gifts me some stuff. Uh, there's a couple other brands. I've, you know, I've got a hair tool that's been gifted to me, some eyebrow products, but that's about it. Okay, this is another eyeliner. Did I need another eyeliner? No. This is a purple eyeliner that's from Ulta, Ulta Beauty. I left my eyelids bare. You know what? I don't like that. I'm going to throw on, I mean, I do like it, but I'm, I'm, I got distracted by babbling at you guys. There are two shimmers in here. One of them's a little warmer. One of them's a little cooler. The cooler one seems like a, it's like a, almost like a satin. This one's kind of warmer and I'm just going in creamy. Yeah, I'm gonna take the warmer shade. Yeah, I like that a lot. Good choice. Yeah, that's right. What a fun little palette. My favorite palette lately has been that one from LA Girl. The LA Girl palette is like my go-to. I, I, actually carry that with me in my purse. There's not much that'll fit in, in the purse that I've been carrying these days, but that one goes with me. In a little pouch to keep it safe. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into that, this lighter shade too, this lighter matte, under my lash line here, just to kind of continue the eye look. And then I am gonna do that liner. I'm gonna do that liner as a waterline because these colors are pretty subdued. Don't get me wrong, I love them but they're pretty subdued. And I wanna do something a little bit more interesting. So I'm gonna take this purple liner. This is, oh, again, it's Ulta Beauty. Can I read the label on it? Eggplant. That was satisfying. All right, let's put a little of this on the waterline. Let's see if it'll go on. So kind of waterline and into my lash line. Yeah. Sometimes you do the, the waterline and it makes your eyes look smaller. Sometimes it just makes them more intense. I'm gonna be going for intense today. Don't need any help making them look smaller. I have close set, small hooded eyelids and I'm a lady of a certain age. So I don't necessarily want them to look smaller or older, but sometimes intense is kind of fun. We're sitting courtside today which is kind of fun. That's uh, that's that purple eyeliner is really pretty. And I think it goes really well with this clean clean eyeshadow palette. What do I need? Oh, picked up another travel size of a mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Didn't I just go through one of these? I think I might've just gone through one of these. Well, let's see. If I did, I don't have it anymore. Oh no, it wasn't this one. It was, it was a different one. Oh yeah, I remember these guys. It's been a while since I've used this particular eyeshadow formula. Is this a waterproof one? Yeah, it's a waterproof one. All right. Okay, you guys, I, my camera decided to stop filming as I was putting mascara on, which was fine because I don't normally film applying mascara because it could be kind of boring. So I'm trying that Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. 
And I picked up a mascara because I wanted to find a good mas a good waterproof mascara that doesn't work for me. My eyes are watering a lot these days and I think it's gonna get even worse as we get into allergy season. So anyway, I, I put on one coat and was a little less than thrilled with it. And then I let it dry and I went in and put on the second coat and now, now I'm okay with it. So I think I've heard mixed feelings on that waterproof mascara, but the only other one I have I think is one from Kush. So it's good to try something else. Anyway, I just put on a little bit of the Merit uh, brow gel. I, we didn't do much with the brows, sorry. And then I did, off camera, I did put a little bit of this Milani Supercharge just underneath my, my eyes because I felt like it was getting a little a little dark in there. This powder just happens to be one that I had conveniently located. This is the Too Faced Born This Way powder. The loose powder, it's okay. Is it my favorite of all time? Not really, but it'll do in a pinch. My favorite loose powder of all time still is the RCMA setting powder. All right, how are we doing? You know, in natural daylight, it doesn't look bad. I feel like I need a little bit more blush though. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on this side right there and maybe a little bit right there too. And instead of that brush, I'm gonna just use this sponge to kind of tap it in. Blend, did I blend it away? No, it looks okay. I see the highlighter, I see the blush, I see the contour. I like the eyes are smoky monochromatic, kind of a cool toned, plummy, plummy pink mauve kind of look. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Lips throughout sitting here talking at you guys have held up. So we're gonna call that good. I might even throw a little setting spray on it. Me with my flat Stanley hair, maybe a little hairspray. That's it for today's video. I'm gonna get out of your guys' hair. Look down below to see if there's any of these things that interest you. Again, you're under no obligation. It's just there for your convenience. I, I'm not sponsored, affiliate, endorsed. Nobody from Ulta or any other brand knows, any of these brands know that I'm doing this video. I just got some new stuff that I play. And I actually, yeah, could be a good makeup day. Hope you guys are doing really well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.